Hello and welcome to Stride ERP training. In this video, I will show you how to approve your employee's timesheets using the batch approval method. To approve, to get started, go to Team Profile, click on My Team, and you should see a list of all the employees that report to you. Okay, on the top right side of the of the page, click Batch Approve Timesheet. Okay, that's this blue button. So click on that. Uh, select the month and the week that you wish to approve. Okay, now I can see a list of all my employees and the hours that they work on that week. Okay, so I can see that uh, Dolly Cranton was expected to work a total of 41 hours, but uh, no hours were recorded for her, meaning that she did not work on that week or she did not clock in and clock out that week, uh, which is different from uh, all our uh, timesheet reports that shows a total of 34 hours uh, worked out of 45 expected working hours. So she was expected to work a total of 45 hours, but only worked 34 hours. Um, Brenda Gold, however, worked 11.82 um, hours, which is what was expected for that week. Okay, and uh, same with uh, Chima Mander, she worked uh, 54 hours out of a total of 54 uh, expected hours. Victoria Daniel's case is a little different. You can see that she worked 34 regular hours, nine other hours, making it a total of 43 hours out of 45 hours. So the other hours, I would like to see what that is. Okay, and to see what those hours are, you click on her name. And Stride will show you a breakdown of the hours, so I can see January 4th all the way through January 7th. And here, I can see that two hours are missing from January 8th, and she took time off, okay, on the 6th of January, which is why we see nine other hours, or nine hours that fall under the other category. So um, clicking an employee's name will bring up a uh, display breakdown of the hours worked. Okay, so here I can select Brenda and Chimamanda. However, I can't select the rest. And the reason is simple. It's because they worked the number of hours that they were expected to work. So here we have 11.82, 11.82. We have 54 hours worked out of a total of 54 expected hours. The rest, however, did not work uh, the number of up to the number of hours that uh, was expected of them, and as a, um, because of that, the system has restricted the supervisor uh, from selecting their names. So with these two selected, I can click Approve Selected Timesheet to approve both of them at the same time. Okay, now this feature, this restriction uh, that we have here is something that the organization can turn on or off. Okay, this is what it looks like. So it can be turned on from system settings. Uh, if right now it's disallowing the approval of timesheets that do not have complete hours. Okay, so uh, your system administrator can actually turn that feature on. And if they do turn it on, um, the restriction, so if they turn off the restriction feature, you will be able to select this employee's timesheet for approval, even though it, the number of hours worked is less than the expected hours. Okay, so this again, like I said, it can be turned on or off. Employees with zero hours can never be selected. So Stride will not allow you to select an employee that does not have any hour recorded for the week. So I have Brenda, I have Chimamanda. So I approve them. I click Approve Selected Timesheet. And uh, you watch the magic happen. So I will click on that. Okay, so once you click on that, that's it. Um, the timesheets will be approved and uh, you're good to go. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.